Hey guys! I've been asked to show how to make at least a small DIY metal detector since the dawn of our channel. And today's video is going to be about how to make one. And of course, we'll need a few radio electronic components, one sheet of PVC foam, couple of CDs, wires, and some other stuff. But let's deal with one thing at a time. Now we'll be dealing with the radio electronic components. Here's the 9V battery, battery snap connector, a few wires, one switch, two 2.2 microfarad capacitors, one NE555B microcircuit, 51 kilo ohms resistor, and one more 10 microfarad capacitor, buzzer and a 0.2 mm copper wire. You can find all of the radio electronics mentioned at electronic markets, flea markets or a radio shack, but most of them could be found online. So, when you'll have all the components, let's work on the diagram. Here's what I found first. But it seems a bit too difficult for beginners. And besides, it would be pretty tricky to fit all of the components onto a circuit board. So, I went on and upgraded it a little bit. And here's what I've got. As you see, there's the leads and I depicted them in the diagram too, so it should be easier to understand the concept, and not to reverse the diagram. The microcircuit has 8 leads, 4 on one side, and 4 more on the other. The first is a minus, the second is responsible for turning on the circuit, the third one is an output, the fourth is responsible for resetting, the fifth is a control lead, the sixth is for stopping the current flow, number seven is for discharge, and the eighth is for the power source. So I hope the diagram I designed will be more user-friendly than the previous one. So we just need to straighten out the second contact and connect the second and the sixth leads. Then we'll need to short-circuit the fourth and the eighth leads. We will have 6 to 12 volts in total. Then we'll need to fit a 51 kilo ohms resistor between the second and the third leads, a 2.2 microfarad capacitor between the first and the second leads, and there will be one contact that will connect the capacitor and the resistor with the coil, which we'll make later on. We will connect the second wire of the coil to the first 2.2 capacitor. Then we'll connect the capacitor to the second 10 microfarad capacitor. Here is where we will fit the speaker. The speaker's contacts will be connected to the first lead, and the other lead will be the minus. So, let's start soldering all of the components to the circuit boards. I'll be performing the process slowly and from different angles so you could see all the action. So, we've assembled the circuit boards. We just need to connect these two wires to a coil. And we'll make a coil right now. We're going to need two compact disks and a 1 to 2 mm thick sheet of cardboard. First of all, we need to cut out a circle 50 mm in diameter. 
Now we need to glue one compact disc to one side of the cardboard circle and to the other side to the other side of the circle. Now let us wrap a 0.2 mm copper wire around our discs. Here's a coil we have to get in the end. In total, you'll need to wrap it 350 times. Not gonna talk about induction now. Just use a 0.2mm thick copper wire. You also have to cut out a cardboard circle of the needed diameter. And generally speaking, all the compact discs are mostly identical. And you're not likely to fail in making a coil. Now we just need to wire it up and make a case to fit it all into. So guys, we have finished making our mini metal detector. Let us test it out. First, let us insert the battery. Then press the switch button. And let's run a small test with an aluminium lighter. You can detect cables that are arranged not very deep inside a wall with the help of such a device. Guys, today's edition is over. Thanks to everybody for watching the video till the end and for your attention. Bye!